नमस्कारों रोहित आपड़िया हियर और टुडे वी हैव प्रेम साई गुंगे माय फ्रेंड का ब्रदर ज्यादा करंटली स्टडीइंग इन किम्स हुबली दैट इज द जीएमसी हुबली नाउ करंटली अ सेकंड ईयर स्टूडेंट एंड वी हैव गैदर्ड टुडे फॉर अ फ्यू एक्सपीरियंसेस ऑफ हिज ऑफ हिज फर्स्ट ईयर एट जीएमसी हुबली so i was much fascinated to know about them i recalled my ug days and as you all know that i am also writing about my ug days so uh, that uh, got a nostalgia to me and i felt that uh, we must discuss this uh, with all of you and so here we are today in front of you uh, welcome prem sai welcome namaskar yes so my first question to you is uh, Apart from your personal reasons, because I know little bit of your personal life also, your family background. Apart from your personal reasons, what do you think made you to go to uh, Karnataka when you were getting admission in Maharashtra GMC as well? Sir, one thing is exposure. Right. Mm-hmm. One thing is exposure. Like uh, I have seen uh, VM GMC right from childhood. Since even I am from Sanapur, so I have seen I have seen VM GMC. But the thing is. the exposure the kind of public interaction that i feel in karnataka i could not probably find that kind of connection with patients it is not about the patients but then it is about the way the healthcare structure the the structure of the system is formed basically the environment of the institute you can yes, say in yes, short yes, but then this you could experience after going there what about uh, before that i mean when you were opting for Uh, did you find out some information from other people or what else? Yes, sir. Sir, basically, I have a couple of uh, people whom I know who are into medical fields, who are um, medical students in various medical colleges of Karnataka. Since uh, I am half Karnataka, like my mom is from Karnataka, so <coughs> I know some people who are medical students, and the way they express or experience, uh, share their experiences about their UG days, like the hierarchy. senior junior relationship uh, and it was generalized it is not just related to one specific college ki ek college mein aisa hai to dusre college mein kuch aur dikh raha hai aisa nahi hai it was just very uniformly distributed and it was very healthy environment and it was very important for me as well to get out of my comfort zone like ghar pe raho ghar ka khao you know that is not a very growing kind of an environment so yeah that was very important so me. basically what i can extract from this answer of yours is first thing you wanted to be out of your comfort zone Uh, the last thing that you mentioned secondly is uh, you studied about the uh, environments of the colleges that you wanted to be yes. usually we see students they just put mumbai pune jolapur nagpur aurangabad in this way the the opting of colleges goes on and they land up probably in most of the time they land up in a place they probably were not expecting or they are not wanting and then it it the time passes to get accustomed and then uh, life is again different in the initial half as well as in the latter half so i think you know planning beforehand studying about what we want to pursue is more important and that that's very evident in in your case and the third thing is that you could find out that the environment overall in all the colleges in in karnataka is 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 extraordinary in terms of exposure public interaction senior junior interaction or whatever so let us try to know them from you in detail one by one so the next question in this context and in this alignment is uh, as you mentioned the senior junior interaction because when you enter the medical college you see the professor later pehle to aapka swagat aapke senior karte hain so what is your perspective and i mean what is your experience so i joined my medical college on 3rd of december and my theory classes were Third december 2020 to 22, 22 yes because of the late uh, post so yeah uh, <laughs> my theory classes were going to commence from i guess 9th in so january 9th of december okay so you were in so i was like a week early i mean a week early just to you know to, uh, settle my hostel and to get accustomed to the environment and i actually i just had a brief idea of how the environment is going to be from that college but then i had not actually met anyone from that college so to just gather a bit of random information that could probably help me to know the faculties to a bit of you know Listen about them, how they are, cooperation is that. So are they supportive? Are they are very agitated, like most of the other. Like Jaisa lene ke liye. Yeah. So kind of kind of to have a brief of how my first year is going to be. Because the most important thing, जो अभी आपने बोला, counselling में GMC Mumbai पुणे है, जैसे हम बोलते हैं, we don't actually know what we want. 
and what we are applying for. Exactly. So the match, the, the, there's a mismatch. There's a mismatch, and we don't even know. <coughs> we will get accustomed to a lot of factors around there, like food, culture, language, more. Because I'm a Lingayan, so Karnataka is homely to me. I know Kannada, so Mirko, there's no linguistic differences that I will face. But then most of the people coming from other states, like Marathi, is the regional language in case of BMGMC. So, the patients who are coming, they might not know any other language. Or they might not understand, so that diagnosis them saying it in like local languages, unke symptoms for local languages. There's language. a lot of difference. You're not accustomed. Yeah. So you were see, one week before. One week before. Yeah. Language was never a barrier, but then, like I said. So, so what did you what did you draw in the first week then? In the yeah, first then week. Then we were focusing on the senior junior swagger. So uh, yeah, my case was uh, pretty. What to say? Uh, like. I was just expecting something else, but then something else happened. Like I entered in a T-shirt and uh, <coughs> denim, with just a backpack slinging around my side, and the seniors like, "What is that outfit?" And you cannot just roam around the campus in that outfit. Are you a new student? Are you a fresher? He started like also. I thought for a second. I was like, "This is not what I had heard from everyone else. Like this is not how it is supposed to be." But then within five minutes of interaction with the same senior, I got to know that. It is not like that. It is the other way around. All they want to teach us is discipline. But the the way they do, the way they convey their uh, message is bit different. Like from place to place, it will definitely differ. It also depends on the place they come from. Yeah. It is between. What 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 background they come from? Exactly. What background they come from? If they are actually from a medical background, then the they will be very. Uh, I don't know if I should generalize this thing, but then my experience is they will be very polite, a bit of professional. Not only medical, but it, it depends how you are brought up. Basically, in yeah. your family, yeah. very decent. Uh, family. Art, art, and that works. It's yes. not a big uh, concern. Yes. So basically, uh, you know, it was about uh, your dress code into the in the campus in your hostel campus. Is your hostel campus and uh, medical college in different campus or the same one? Uh, no, sir, they are different. So despite staying at hostel campus, you were asked to have a particular dress code, and not only that, you were asked to have one. They themselves also followed one, themselves so followed. that that matters a lot. You know, practice what you preach makes the things exactly. here. The things are way around. You know, so uh, like other there the seniors like uh, in the first week at least from 9th of December till 15th of December, I find them explaining the rules in that one week of span. That's all. After that, they were least bothered. It is like we will teach you in the first week. It is up to you if you want to follow the rules or if you don't want to follow the rules. But then I have never seen them themselves disobeying their seniors. Like अगर button पहनना है तो सिर्फ हमें नहीं not just the first year second third fourth senior super seniors everyone follow the same protocols same discipline everything is very decent and very up to date so basically practice what you preach goes on yes, and yes. and that is why the, the the chain in the the culture chain that moves on yes, yes. the culture chain moves on and uh, I think that's a that's a really a good that's really a good way to maintain the decency and develop responsible clinicians. So, because the first step any any walk you take in life is discipline. The first step is discipline. I I remember Ro Franklin Roosevelt saying that discipline is the root cause of all success. Yes, and uh, I'm happy to know that one of my uh, colleague is able to learn them. Uh, I, I remember we you know we were discussing and uh, during your uh, drop you were discussing ki mere ko to GMC sola puri chahiye and we were also very much fascinated ki chalo aaja hai hamare. But I'm happy to know that you have learned so many things there. This maybe you might have learned as a part of your background, as a part of our interaction, or you know, a likely circle. But then uh, we could not have uh, been able to hear from you this great culture that works in other GMCs. And जो होता है अच्छे के लिए होता है. So the next question in this uh, list is uh, uh, you know about uh, a particular trend that uh, the environment that you were talking about so uh, more specific about the academic environment in your hostel and then in your college what would you like to add so starting <coughs> from the college because that is where it, everything starts starting from the college sir one thing that i have seen that is different in our college as compared to the other two medical colleges in hubli itself okay in hubli itself they are deemed universities okay and as is the government medical college and it pretty much it it is the same fashion followed in all the government colleges of karnataka, karnataka. so they, what, what what is the difference they are academically inclined without being pressurized about it who gmcs gmcs okay academically inclined yeah. without pressure yes. it means they are passionate about what they do they are very they are into the process 
The next See, this is a very important statement that you are making. I think I should frame it. Sir, half dissection hours, the time allotted was two hours. But then, because of our interest in dissection, our lunch hour, which was of probably 45 minutes, it turned out only to be of 15 minutes. The other 30 minutes also was invested in dissection. Self-interest. Things, things are other way around in GMC Maharashtra. I that is controversial, sir. I would definitely not want to talk. No, about this is what I experienced as a service resident in anatomy. Today only we discussed out of 200 people because there's a three day holiday because there's a three day holiday but today is a working day despite three day holiday ek din pehla bhi. and i was very sorry to feel that because i am a pro academic person and you know dil se kar hai. everything whatever you want to do it, it you have to be passionate if your passion becomes your profession then it is life otherwise it's a machine so today only i don't know the hardly out of 200 we had about 100 120 people and it says four months people have entered the institute. And September, October, November, December. It's just the fourth month. And this kind of indiscipline and lack of interest is, it, it you know, it uh, demotivates the people involved. You know, you may be highly motivated, but the response also adds to your, uh, you know, way of approach. Sir, so, like sorry to, to interrupt you. Just continue the story. Sir, I would like to add when it comes to the response and how it motivates the professors. Like we had a guest lecturer who used to come to our uh, college every Thursday. So honorary for which subject? For uh, anatomy. He okay. was an ENT so, surgeon. You can say honorary professor yes. for anatomy who is an ENT specialist. Yes, okay. he's an ENT surgeon and he specifically came for head and neck and neuroanatomy. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah, for that duration. But then looking at our interest in dissection, he helped us dissecting the ear ossicles. Like, so you could make the MIS. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes. Sir. You could make the MIS. Yes, yes, we could make the we extracted the MIS. That we, is the Melius Incus Melius Incus Stepidius. We uh, extracted so the This is not expected in a UG dissection, not even in the PG dissection of anatomy, MD anatomy. But it is good to know that you are creating wonders and getting new experiences which you will never get in your lifetime even if you become an ENT surgeon yes, in, a, in a cadaver. Like most of the people, even our seniors, they said we never got a chance to actually see Malia's incurrence. But then we, just a group of five <coughs> people, we approached him like, sir, it would be a great pleasure if you could assist us or even you do the dissection and we just observe. But then we want to see the ear ossicles. So basically what I feel is, ki we are just one attempt away from whatever you want in life. Yes, yes, yes. Just one attempt. Yes, and attempt makes the difference. So the only difference is not about how, uh, you know, Kitna aap usme parangat ho, kitna aap usme Ha, but aap kitne usme expert ho Your expertise is not the factor, just the attempt is the factor And that makes the difference And in this regard as well, I remember one of my first year UG anatomy dissection uh, story Experience uh, You know, uh, removing, out, removing out the spinal cord Ha, so that is also not in your UG curriculum But just seeing our interest One of our assistant professors I mean the opportunity walks to you, people observe you. So he just came and with the help of the plucker, we you know cut down all the lamina. The, the foramina ke lamina or the posterior lamina of the vertebral column. And we extracted the spinal cord. And I remember it is still getting carried after five years also. We dissected in 2018. Today is 2023. The same specimen is being preserved and being used for the exam again and again. So it gives you a lot of pleasure to have new experiences and I mean these small differences make a these small differences make a difference. Yes, and like you said, one small step. There's just one step away. Uh, with this regard, I would also like to share an experience where uh, the uh, guest lecturer, my ENT faculty, he did not have that sense of superiority. Like unko agar kuch yaad nahi aata, when it comes to there was this nerve supply of submandibular salary nature. It is a very a normal thing which anybody would remember. But then he was not remembering it. But he <coughs> did not have that uh, hesitation to uh, ask it or approach to the other anatomy faculties who are on the other dissection tables. He very humbly and very keenly went to them. He asked them that I am I'm not able to recall what it is. Can you please tell me? I have extracted the nerve, but then you please tell me what that nerve is. So even after being an ENT surgeon, that sense of acceptance of you cannot remember everything and that sense of Approaching that, yeah, you don't know everything. There the humbleness, the modesty, the, humbleness, the modesty. Yeah, to approach an anatomist is something that I learned. From. I mean, you know, you see a clinician far higher as compared to a pre or para clinical yes. faculty, and still he had such a dignity and uh, humbleness. 
I, I just remember a couple of days back we had a faculty, uh, Dr. Mohan Gundeti, a professor at Chicago University, he is alumnus of our student, uh, our institute. 30 years back he did PG surgery, MS surgery in uh, VMGMC. He had come down to VM for a guest talk uh, 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 named as Meet the Professor, just an informal discussion and surgery department, UG, PG students and everyone was there. And he stressed upon this. He said, I just asked him, sir, how did you think is, uh, uh, how did you think that practicing surgery, that robotic surgery uh, abroad is your cup of tea? He said, never my cup of tea. I landed there accidentally. All great people are of this opinion. Okay. But then he added that when I entered Chicago University, I made three things to myself. I have to be very much uh, genuine. If I don't know anything, I have to commit. I don't know anything. If I don't know anything, I'll say I don't know it. And if I have committed a mistake, I will say yes, I committed a mistake. I mean, these three things, they will, they are the three, you know, pillars of your success. So honesty is like very honesty important. is really the best policy. Honesty and it, it, it uh, takes you miles away as compared to other people. So moving ahead, I think I'm, I'm amending your statement a lot. No, sir, it's, it's just a discussion. And uh, you cannot keep me quiet, you know. No way. So, <laughs> so coming up to the next question. So we, we discussed about the uh, academic part of your college. We missed out your hostel part. What about the environment? So, yeah. Coming to the hostel academics. Uh, so let's because, because that is really very variable at different places. Yes. At a very studious college, you will find people studying like anything day in and out. And on the contrary, uh, I mean, uh, one week pay le throda ultra MP day day are. And this works in most of these scenarios. Even if the you know people coming from a good background. A, a genuine background, hard working background, but you know that environment kills your m to you know get over to learn. So please some right yes sir. Speaking about the hostel academics, I will tell you there was no such scene as lagging in our college because our seniors and their seniors, like our super seniors and consecutive batches had made it a rule or that pretty much taken it upon them that if we lagging nahi karenge, to our immediate juniors lagging. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. So, okay. so, like, yeah, if I am not ragged, <coughs> I will definitely not rag. So that legacy is being continued for far more than six batches right now. I oh, think. That's, that's really commendable. Yes, yes, six yes, really so, commendable. Yeah, so that is one thing that we can definitely brag about. That yeah, we are an anti rag, uh, ragging free campus. So, so brag hamara, about not ragging. Yes, sir, brag about not ragging. But then our seniors ke saath interaction hua. That is a part of your medical uh, life. So yes, that will definitely happen. But I will tell you um, another side of what exactly happened. Like Hamara, like all the boys when we had come, I say hostel may we have a hall where we all were sitting and there was a bunch of seniors, like around 10-15 seniors. They entered and humko bulaya gaya tha. And there was no fear. There was just curiosity and keenness. Like, yeah, mass me bulaya hai. Paach log, das log kya. I say chote group me nahi bulaya. Sabko bulaya. To sabko kya kar lenge. So there was no such dark kind of a thing, there was just curiosity. So when we went, they told us, see, the first thing that we will teach you here is that if you want to survive, if you want to learn, you are the one who has to approach. No faculty will come, no faculty will teach you extra. They will just teach you some selected thing. Every medical college, you even go to Ames, nobody can teach you the whole syllabus. It is you, your curiosity and your hunger that is going to fetch you the extra knowledge, that is going to fetch you the extra marks or whatever you expect in your career. That is, fetch you, that is going to fetch you your extra experience as well, the upper edge. So basically they kindled some inquisition within you. Yes sir. Yes, sir. Uh, by, by pinching you. Yes sir. And they also like two of our super seniors had also come and one, uh, uh, this thing, uh, he was a resident, uh, MS orthopedic surgeon. Okay. He was a resident and he was doing his PG from the same college, pursuing PG and he shared some of his uh, experiences about operations and surgery. So that made us very keen about anatomy itself. Like the, uh, when we start <coughs> the, the applied aspect. Yes sir, the applied aspect. Like the new uh, curriculum which is very much applied based and clinical based. CBM, so called. Yes sir, CBM, no. Uh, so that, called in Maharashtra. CBM is really called diligently being followed. But, yes. but that is what I am saying. CB, you, you should repeat this statement. CBM is very diligently followed in KMCs, not in GMC Maharashtra. Sir, uh, to be very true. Then yeah, CBME is actually very diligently followed. Like, see, I am not back bitching in the institute I am teaching. I am not back bitching the state in which I am living. I am not back bitching in the culture that I have grown. But I am, I am, unfortunately, I am presenting the, uh, you know, the reality 
which as compared to other places is really down you know the purpose of our discussion is it's really great to know that there is genuine learning not teaching every teacher will teach but that genuine learning here also if i am able to make a difference in my life as compared to other people around and people you know you anyways grow you get good experience only because of our intuition but yahi hai ki aap khud ki tareef apne muh se nahi kar sakte result speaks and that is evident that is evident you know today our director of dm here that is boss of all dms had been here visiting our institute and he called upon me he called up on you and i did expect ki why would he do it's an official visit and there were a lot of official stuff to be done but the moment he saw the photograph outside the dean office are tapdiya ki the just call and i was the only student called for the college council so i mean it pays off to you what and fortunately all students the whole culture the whole environment at your place is of this kind so all are kind of i, I should not say all are tapdiya there but then there is a standard of learning and the inquisition of learning and i think that will give you, and that will give a really really it will give a good class of clinicians a good class of students at the current rate in the market of medical sciences so our seniors have set the benchmarks too high and there is a sense of competition not a healthy one not yeah. just with your batchmates but also with your seniors seniors ki isne kiya yeah to isne apne first year mein itna percentage nikala आपने निकाला तो आप मुझे बताओ मैं आपके जितना निकाल सकता हूं कि नहीं मैं ट्राई करूंगा कि मैं निकाल एंड आई विल वर्क एंड ही विल हेल्प ही और शी विल हेल्प वी लाइक या इफ यू वर्क इन अ सर्टेन वे आई अंडरस्टूड दैट वेरी लेट इन माय फर्स्ट ईयर बट देन इफ यू अप्लाई इट इन द सिंस द वेरी फर्स्ट डे देन यू माइट मोर मोस्ट प्रोबेबली इवन एंड अप गेटिंग वे मोर देन मी सो दैट सेंस ऑफ या कोई मुझसे आगे जा रहा है तो लेट देम इफ समवन इज गेटिंग आई मीन लाइक सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट आई मीन लाइक uh we are visiting a conference abroad and if i am doing it after my final year you are doing it in your second year yes that's it yes i welcome yeah. so this is the approach there bit between all of all of the people which is not much here so yeah there is even over there as well there is a group of people see they they will be there will be there will, will be everywhere so <coughs> that differences the way the thought processes everything varies but, but then the I there is a professionality that that limits them to how much they must argue how much they must propose and there's a decency in the opposition as well it's not like the indian parliament right correctly yes, yes, yes. ha the sense of professionalism is maintained like yeah i am a person who is not so accepting not, not so accepting not so pro in the greater thing yeah. but uh, it is going i am not opposed uh, i am not opposed i am not opposed you do your thing i do mine uh, ha so there's, there's a there's a decent professionality yes, mentality yes, like yeah. you know what you want i know what i want in the long run so we'll just not clash and make it very uh, there's a crab culture which goes around uh, in this environment we have seen yes. but then it's good to know that there's a supportive environment So this is about your hostel academy. Now, so uh, speaking about the first week yeah, experience, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah, sure, sure, sure. Very, I'm sorry. To first week in first week uh, experience का एक experience ऐसा भी था like hostel में usually we the uh, our seniors had organized a jamming session. Jamming session as in all the seniors get together. The four five batches. No sir, no sir, just immediate seniors. Okay. They oh. get together and mm-hmm. we our batch get together. <coughs> and we sit and we sing songs like people who know uh, instruments they play instruments people who can sing really well they sing and that is our first interaction with our seniors like we might a kind of freshers you yeah. can call yes sir yes sir a kind of freshers but then in your very basic sense like yeah you but, are in your hostel clothes there so everyone just it is like a get together and we do it every 2 3 months just to maintain that sense of communication like you share your experience padhe kaise chal rahi hai they last they solve some doubt they are busy with their uh, work their life we are busy with our study so ऐसे डायरेक्ट इन कम्युनिकेशन होता है काइंड ऑफ सोशल गैदरिंग अरेंज्ड बाय डिफॉल्ट एवरी टू थ्री मंथ्स यस सर यस सर काइंड ऑफ सो इट इज अ वेरी हेल्दी थिंग लाइक इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट सिंगिंग वी आल्सो कंट्रीब्यूट वी गेट स्नैक्स दे गेट देयर स्टफ इडिबल्स व्हाटएवर वी कैन लाइक सॉफ्ट ड्रिंक्स कूल ड्रिंक्स ब्यूरेजेस सो वी डू दैट इन द कॉमन एरिया एंड आल्सो दैट इज अ वेरी हेल्दी थिंग एज़ वेल दैट आई थिंक मेनी कॉलेजेस शुड और कैन गेट इनटू yeah apply but do we speak i really feel pity on our part i mean uh, we miss so many things uh, and uh, the resultant is uh, uh, to purva dishe mein mai paschim dishe mein you on the east i on the west and lack of communication is the root cause of all problem which uh, very beautifully has been overcome uh, at your place so speaking about this our dean sir uh, he our opening speech like his opening speech on the very dean's address yes, the dean's address 
he said you belong to one profession you have one goal you go through one process and you live in one place you belong to one community you are a part of one medical college and you have one intention that is serving the humanity so despite having everything this uniform and this common why is there difference there is no room of any difference that should be there so envisioned he is yes. basically and he, he is able to make every student envision this yes. at least 80% people will uh, you know align with it at least 80 90% people yes. shall align with it yes so that is the sense of uh, you know spirit that our dean sir and all the faculties has uh, you know put in to us and they nurture it is like a parently approach yes sir and they never called us medical students they always called us budding doctors young budding medicals yes, yes sir and that sportsman it is like a sport like a every spirit. day we go a spirit yeah. every day we go we run a marathon and then we come back so it is like a long run which is not draining a lot of your energy and you are just loving you have your companions around you all of you are running and then winning really does not matter like the, the result, process matters yes, sir, yes, exactly sir. the process matters yeah winning like at the end see the person who is getting a gold medal is also going to become a doctor is also going to ha- get a specific amount of experience and so are you so marks grades that primitive rat race that's why i said we are academically inclined but not by not being pressured like too much exams and all they are like yeah at the end everyone will pass everyone will eventually become doctors but then your mentality the way you think your state of mind and what character you build over years so is what is important basically they have worked a lot on the abstractness yes, of being a medico yes, and uh, i am very happy to know because here we see numbers kitna pass kitne fail how much percentage what all how many marks and i think you know the mindset makes the difference the mindset makes the difference yes and the other things are also like one most important thing that i felt about him is that uh, after like the results of our first year university were out he made a whatsapp group of the ones who could not pass oh uh, on his own he himself created a group oh and he himself is supervising those students his own and he direct guidance direct guidance and so, that sense of individuality like one to one communication with the dean that's a good leadership quality yes, yes, and he also said that it has taken us a lot of years to understand what the students want and to deliver that thing i think this is a great maturity i feel is really a great maturity yes. i mean even if a professor does it now it has started here as well but then uh, i think uh, it will take some time to cope up but then it has started but the, the mindset with which it is done i am aware of it and it's better not to speak about it but then uh, just let's go ahead with the discussion so moving on ahead uh, with your experiences in first year uh, i mean the curriculum is so well set the cbme is actually getting implied and uh, the environment at the institute and the hostel is extraordinary it can be friendly and socially high on the toes are you very understanding uh, still a question in my mind lies what extra edge what extra edge okay. what extra edge that you could experience maybe as an individual or a group, group of people active people or active people or uh, uh, maybe you know the inquisitive guys sab jagah kuch kiye hote hain so sir uh, speaking about this there are a couple of uh, branches i would want to divide this into first is <coughs> sorry an extra is related to pg post graduation like solapur mein all i knew was neat ug neat pg and neat ss hmm. i was living in a nutshell like yahi hai teen exam inhi ko crack karna hai aur 15 saal zindagi se mein bitana hai 15 saal padhna hai padhna hai padhna hai aur ek super specialization karna hai aur wo must hai there is no exception to it you mm-hmm. have to have to do it once you enter it certainly for sure okay so this was your mindset you being in chhodapur yes sir okay and not not necessarily my mindset but then the people around are the 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 overall environment yes, yeah well then when i went there yeah when i got out of chhodapur let's say keep it like this when i went out and i saw that it is not about your super specialization at all that matters it is your willingness like hamare yaar doctors de pe there is this doctor called as uh, suresh dukani dr suresh dukani he is a very renowned neurosurgeon 
uh, who has performed more than 26,000 brain operations in, in India. Yes, sir. 26,000 in a matter of only 15 years. It's just oh, 54 that's, years old. That's really commendable, extraordinary. 26,000 brain operations and 18,000 spine operations. Spine surgery. Apart from that. Apart from the brain operations. So yes. 26 plus 18,000. Yes, sir. That is what his, his number goes to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, that's, that's really commendable. Yes, sir. And he also shared his target. He's like, in the next decade, he would want that number to be 1 lakh. No, he, and the uh, difference is that he's not <coughs> wanting a lot of patients. Yeah. yeah. He's like, I don't want patients. But then if I get an opportunity to serve, I would want it to be 1 lakh in the next 1 decade or 15 years. I mean, the people usually say, Dr. Ban Gaya, Chhapne Ki Machine Shuru Ho Gai. It's really not the mentality or the clinician. Even in his own mind, and also, of course, not in front of the people. And sir, both Chapneki mentality. Sir, I would want to quote his own sentences, like what he said. Uh, when he came, the way he concluded his speech was See, if you become a doctor, you will always be in your prime. If you want money, you will earn money by any means. By hook or crook, money will come to you. You don't have to worry about that. But then, what kind of a doctor you would want to be? That is very important. That's the prime point. Yes, sir. The 15 years that you are spending into your education, learning, all those degrees. In the 70, 80 years of your life. Yes, sir. The 15 years that you are learning, it is not just giving you degrees. It is not just giving you qualifications. It is also a journey that you would, that you should learn a lot of things other than academics. It will teach you patience. It will teach you compassion. The abstract yes, life, yes, basically. Yes, sir. It, and they're not just the, yeah, he just, he talked about not just the, Academic knowledge, like a doctor can be very academically renowned and might know everything theoretically, but then the practical aspects and the way you even communicate with the patient, the sympathy, empathy factor, everything he touched upon those soft skills of a doctor as well. Like, and you will learn that by postings, you will learn that by uh, family adoption programs. He said everything that you do, every hour that you spend in your college, in your practical labs, in your dissection lab, or dissection halls or in your clinical postings, every hour, every minute that you spend will be of significance in your medical career. And you might that sense of involvement has to grow. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Hey, family adoption, aisa, oh family adoption, sense of responsibility. I mean, really the mindset makes a difference. And a lot a huge credit definitely goes to the people who are in charge, like I said, our dean sir, our HODs. And the people who are invited on occasions like doctors and all. So the people, there is a sense okay, of it, it comes institutionally. Yes, right. And very professional. Very professional. Very professional. So it is not some but but also the important factor that contributes is you people's involvement. No doubt there's a culture, a trend set at high standards. But it is just incomplete if you people are not in this. Yes, undoubtedly. True, sir. So the you know the individual hunger as you mentioned you know the inquisitiveness uh, that plays a primordial role in uh, you know making these things happen yeah sir and uh, creating that hunger was also a very important thing and it worked out yes sir and is very well being done by the faculties and actually over there as well as the seniors yes sir Se seniors yeah definitely i would take some time and appreciate the amount of efforts that seniors put in like i remember they had their professionals but then still they explained, they taught us, they took, literally they took bones and like this is the attachment. There is no concept of important, ultra important, extremely important. Okay, it's about, it's about, ye hai, ye nahi yes, hai. that's it. Yes, sir. The first rule that I learned over there is know something from everything. If you want to be exam oriented, there are two things. If you want to be medically ex exceptional, then you have to study, there is no exception. And if you want to just pass, like the category of the people, they, they know something from everything. So there is no exception. You have to learn. They have to study everything. There is no concept of important questions. I there is no know. concept of learning something to get everything. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's so simple. Yes, sir. It's so straightforward. Yeah. There's no, no 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 concept of IMP ultra yes, IMP yes, at uh, KMC uh, at, at GMCs yes, in Karnataka. Yes, I, I, I will not generalize this thing. It, it will at least at your institute. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least on, on a on a much majority. 80-90% yes. people and that's really commendable. I mean, uh, it's the other way around. Hardly handful of people learn everything and rest all are uh, in every other mode. I mean, the the character of learning misses out. And, uh, we cannot blame, but then it is the way it is here. Yes. You know. And the way we are taught to learn, love the books, 
Love the books. Learning to learn. I mean, yes, sir, learning, learning to, to learn, learn and loving to learn. Loving to learn and loving the books that we read. Like, there is a trend that we follow. First, gold standard. We study that specific bit, and after that, we go for the Indian authors' ka book. अगर वो नहीं समझा, then we are faculties. Faculties, if they are quite busy, or if we hesitate to approach the faculties, then senior. So this trend is followed, and even if we go on a regular basis, we approach faculties or seniors. There is no issue. They are open to help. Things are really a bit different. I mean, every faculty is open. They will say, but then in practical uh, aspect, if you see in the practical aspect of this discussion, it is like uh, you start with the most small book, with the most uh, you know simple wordings and answers. If at all you get time, if at all, and if you are interested. Then a higher book, an Indian author, a standard book, or बहुत दूर मुझे very I can still remember not even handful people at at least from my batch or other to the international authors. No sir, actually it I should go hand in hand. It can go in a in a good fusion even if it is not in the hierarchy. It can go in a good fusion ki this this part this part this part and it can become a good taste. So I would like to like contribute by saying that. This thing will come with a certain kind of bond with your batch. Like back there, the whole batch moves with a specific pace. Like kisi ka ek bit complete hai to dusra do three bit piche nahi hoga. He will be two chapters behind, or max to max five chapters behind. The backlog. So chapters in this sense concept you can like blood me like let like, let's say I'm from I just passed my first year so blood me let's say someone has just started blood, so the batch will not be बहुत आगे. Will be somewhere around John Day sir, like two three chapters ahead. Okay, that sir. So that sense of uniformity in the whole batch is also very important. That sense of boundedness and the unity to learn. Yes, I mean, and the whole batch is just. Whole, I mean, it it just puts me somewhere in some other environment in some other planet to listen all this. A totally a different concept. Totally different concept. The whole batch moves in one <laughs> pace and. Uh, and that too, which is set at a higher standard, which is definitely set at a higher. Two months before the exam, we have to complete our gold standard books at least twice. That okay. is a rule. Oh, that's that's really great. And that, that's really a good speed. Very uh, strictly followed and happily followed. Happily followed, more important. Happily, happily not under pressure. No, sir, like, and yeah. I think that is why we don't listen to suicides happening there. Not at all. Yeah. It, it's it's very common. Uh, I mean, it's not a stuff to say with pride. I am not mentioning it anyway. Just a mention because it's recently happening. You might have also also heard of. In Sur, not we don't want to take any other medical. Work. Even in our place, uh, at different places in in not only in Sur, up to different medical colleges across Maharashtra, this number is really rising every year. Or the the you know the number is really rising. You know, so that that's really uh, embarrassing. And reason is this environment. And I think the the things are far opposite in an optimistic way. At uh, colleges in Karnataka, so this really commendable the standard and the environment, the the attitude, the aptitude, and uh, the whole story. It remains. I I would like to just you know conclude by saying that it is a process. Both students and faculties have to undergo. Like faculties have to put in a bit of contribution, a bit of changes in their way of thinking, their way of approaching students. And it is also the so hierarchical gap, you know, yes, that has to be yeah, yeah, yeah. abolished. The professional gap, I would want. Oh, the yeah. communication gap. I Not mean. the professional. Professional hierarchy would be yes, there. I feel that the communication gap yes, and the hierarchical gap. I think this is the better words we can. Yes, and before we conclude, just a last, just a last incident. Uh, some extra edge which I want you to speak. I mean, the opportunities you got as a result of these uh, things. So, so speaking of the extra edge, like uh, other than academic activities, but then academically related and relevant co-curricular, co-curricular, but academically co-curricular activities. We had various quizzes organized by our departments. Like we have by the department it. itself. By the department itself. Okay. So it is inter-college and intra-college. Like within the college also, we have various quizzes. I think today only we discussed these terminologies when we were talking about uh, intercranial, uh, clavicular, interclavicular. And I said, what about intraclavicular? This ho- is not hollow as compared to the other bone. So intraclavicular and interclavicular are there, not? Yeah. So basically, yes. Uh, within the college also, we were a part of various uh, programs like quizzes, conferences. Like we had to do a bit of research on some vague topic from our uh, subject only, but then present it. 
And I for, for an example, for an example, like ABO blood group, like my my topic I'll speak on was ABO blood group, and there are certain diseases which have which uh, there are certain group of individuals which are either susceptible or resistant to certain diseases. To certain diseases, but then it depends on your blood group as well. Yeah. So it's like O positive blood groups are highly susceptible to certain diseases, which other blood groups might not be that or might be resistant to those diseases. Yeah. So uh, there was a uh, fifteen days of research that I had done over this thing. And I presented the this thing, uh, this uh, those slides on that, and then the faculty, the my batchmates, some seniors also joined from Imac, and so it was a very good thing. As well. And all one fifty students had their individual topic on which they took seminars for research. Yes, sir. Exclusively for research. Exclusively for research. ऐसा नहीं कि मैंने नीचे एंड पढ़ा है और मैंने उसको प्रेजेंट कर दिया और दैट्स अ सेमिनार इज़ डन. नहीं सर, नहीं सर, नहीं सर. I mean parallel. Topic from your curriculum joint he raha so knee joint <coughs> may be advances in knee joint surgeries so for applying yes sir including for because what you are talking about ABO and diseases it it mostly it covers into pathology yes, today's sir. pathology yes, yes, but then you are oriented to it because of this activity of research really commendable really commendable so uh, apart from that also we I was very fortunate to be a part of a conference which was held by GMC Panji. In Goa, James and Panji. So, as a first year student, you could visit a conference at other state. Yes, yes. yes so, yes. fortunate in terms of what? Fortunate as in uh, one very important thing was it was uh, like our HODs had approached us three people from our batch. Okay. Who had won several other competitions. Like uh, so, based on your academic performance, you are prioritized yes. to uh, yes, in, to be invited yes, for some. Program at other places. So as a conference. So we had got an invitation from GMC Panjim. So because of that, we had we had got an opportunity to represent our college, and I was very glad we went to GMC Panjim. So uh, the college at Panaji or Panji, yeah. which had hosted the conference. Of course, as a first year student, I don't feel that you might have been going to some conference of medicine or. No. So what what would I could you just uh, explain it a little? Sir, so it was a physiology conference. Physiology uh, conference. So okay. People from all other government medical colleges, students had come. They were given their own topics. It, it appears to be a national conference uh, because yes, Karnataka at yes, one yes, place, yes, Goa at another yes, state. Yes, so it's a national conference. Was a national conference. So was Maharashtra excluded or what? Um, sir, I, I you don't know. Did you meet any people? I, mean, I met a couple of people, but then they were uh, there on their by their own. By their own. They were registered by their own. Like, uh, what in your case? Our college had uh, registered. registered for our So registered in the sense the registration fees of the conference and all what else? Sir, registration fees of the conference, our transport, our accommodation, pretty much all expenses was funded by the institute. Yes, sir. Okay, so that was that's just incredible to know because uh, things are very otherwise here and better not to speak about them. But I feel uh, why didn't I meet you five or six years back? But then I never regret being in VMGMC because I think that. What I could learn, do, and be of GMC as a student, I probably could not have been able to do all this if I would have been even at a at a better environment as of yours. I mean, uh, uh, how Padma awardees are sacred enough in our uh, Indian environment. Uh, world record uh, has a place of such kind abroad, and. Uh, I do not think that there could be some higher credibility that we could have have as an institute, but never mind. It would have been far more better. I mean, I'm using the word more and better both, and uh, far more better if it would have been in KMC. Uh, let's look that you people could do something and break our record. Uh, I mean, it's already jam packed and you are already involved in so many activities. But I mean, I I am really jealous. Uh, uh it would really would have been a very good experience to be at kmc and probably i would have been married to the girl that i look for it's like that <laughs> so <laughs> i mean i arranged marriage no doubt with bm gmc but then still i would have been uh, you know uh, i still feel jealous so uh, i am i a part of the love marriage no 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 yeah, of course of course yes i loved i loved pretty much everything about the college including i mean you studied about it yes, you saw the background of the girl and then you got you proposed and you got married i mean you applied there and you got it uh, even when you were getting things at uh, yes, gmc maharashtra so uh, you made a clever choice you know uh, you are into the passion uh, you are into the profession of which you are passionate about 
and uh, of course we are two but then uh, arranged marriages are even not bad and uh, we get accustomed and uh, things have really been uh, great in our at least uh, as an individual experience not praising myself but i tell you uh, it was really great to uh, be a part of vm gmc and uh, nice talking to you i feel uh, people will definitely take good messages from this and they will take a lot of inspiration and uh, make it a big deal a good deal for themselves so namaskaram and thank you for your time thank you so much and uh, uh, we look forward for your support and extended guidance ahead as well whenever we need and a collab between kmcs and mmcs yes, soon yes. thank you so much thank you thank yes. you for this opportunity thank you